All right, let's um, start there. Start off by talking about the the preseason matches that we've had so far. Uh, one against Dunfermline and some closed doors games, closed door games. Um, there's been a great result, run of results and some good performances in there. Uh, what have you and the coaches and the players gained from those? No, I think you know preseason games are you know valuable uh, mm-hmm. to see how fit the players are and seeing the gradual progress from. You know, in their match sharpness, and we've certainly seen that in the, a progression in the games. Um, you know, and add to that the fact that we've won. You know, two of the closed door games we beat them fairly, and then it gives us that winning mentality, which is what we're looking for. You know, so we don't we, we don't really see them as friendlies, um, as a gauge in fitness, um, but also gives us a chance to get that you know winning feel you know feel good factor of winning games. Um, so you know, it's been valuable this season. Uh, and we look forward to Saturday's game against Cowden Beath. Yeah. And then between the, the last of those friendlies and the competitive game starting on Saturday, we made t- two signings um, Nathan Flanagan and Kevin is, but uh, what are they going to bring to the squad to you? No, uh, I mean, I've watched Nathan for a good few years. Um, he's been at uh, you know, a few clubs and he's, he's always done well. You know, he's very quick, um, he's got good ability. And um, we just have to harness the final product, which you know we'll certainly get. Um, but working on full time, we'll be able to get you know, um, you know, to benefit from that. Uh, Kevin has came from Partick Thistle. He's a bit of a hard time, you know, it's other clubs, but we we certainly see uh, the potential there. Um, and you know, from now the potential starts now. Um, it's not a case of we're waiting a couple of months. He's shown in. Uh, pre-season games and uh, in training, you know he's got very good ability, and again we're, we're trying to get the best out of him. Um, but he's certainly ones I, I think the fans will like because you know he's a big lad. He can hold the ball up. You know he doesn't mind getting in for challenges, uh, and he can put the ball in the back of the net. So you know he's one certainly you know to look forward to. Just talking about Kevin there in, in the pre-season games, um, the thing that impressed me was his hold up. And his layoff play, uh, something that's caught the eye, I imagine. Yeah, uh, but he's got more than that to his game. Um, you know, he's a very good finisher. Um, I mean, we've seen that in training, uh, and you know, we hope to see it in the games in the future. Yeah. Obviously, next up is um, our first competitive match against Cowdenbeath in the League Cup. Uh, what's your aspirations generally for the the League Cup games? Well, uh, for as much as competitive. Um, you know, we feel that the games that we've played up to, you know, the League Cup section starting have been very competitive. You know, I think the game against Dunfermline certainly showed an edge to it. Um, it was played at a good pace, uh, and we've made every game competitive because we want to win them. Um, getting into the League Cup section, you want to get out of it. You know, you want to get in the next round, um, and that's what our, our aspiration will be: is to go and, you know, w- w- win enough games to get us into the, the next round. That League Cup sometimes is viewed as a bit of a second-class citizen to the, the Scottish Cup. I'm assuming you approach it like any game that you want to get through it and win it. Listen, it's a tough group, but we want to win every game, and we'll go out to give you know our best in every game, and you know try and get ourselves through. Um, you know, there's obviously difficult games; all of them will be difficult. Um, but you know, Hearts and Inverness are obviously in leagues above us. Um, but it will show where we are in terms of you know our fitness levels and where we are as a team. And I think we've got to remember there's been a lot of changes this year. Uh, and you know we're, we are beginning to see them gel together, um, but you know it might take a wee bit of time. But you know there's no better time to get that out of the way in the league cup. Yeah, and lots of changes as you said, focusing on Cowden Beath. Um, they've re- they've recruited well over the summer, uh, and they'll be uh, as usual in a derby game a, a tough nut to crack. No, we, we don't want to forget it's a fight derby, yeah. <laughs> and you know when it comes to it, you want to be uh, winning derbies, um, but. Kevin Beath of you know I know Gary Bowen ve- uh, very well. He, he's recruited well in the summer, uh, and there'll be a different op- uh, opposition to what we faced last season. Um, but you know, given the strength you know of, of our squad, albeit small, uh, we believe that we can go into the game with you know in a positive frame of mind. Yeah. And, and looking at pre-season, the, the pre-season training schedule, as we know, has been very tough for the players and beneficial, uh, and the, and the games as well have been tough for them. Um, there's a few little injuries. Uh, what's the overall injury picture for you? Uh, yeah. well, it's not great, to be honest. <laughs> but that's football. You know, sometimes things happen, and you know, you get a couple of injuries um, all at once, um, which has happened to us this year. But you know, you've got to go on it. You know, you can sit and worry about it and be negative, or you can be positive and say, you know what, 
whatever boys are put out there, they'll do the club proud. Uh, and that's all we'll ask them to do and I'm sure they will you know even the, the young ones that have been involved have done well up to a point and you know they might be called upon the first few games um, but that's where we are and that's you know we look at it positively it gives the young ones game time um, but we're still looking to win games simple as that I also understand there's um, there's news about Louis Bond's injury situation uh, what, what, you, what can you tell us about that? Ah, it's all off the press now you're always quick with, <laughs> with what's going on um, yeah unfortunately um, Lewis has uh, had to go through a medical procedure that, uh, this afternoon um, and it looks as if he's going to be out for you know, approximately six to eight weeks uh, which isn't great news and everybody's disappointed but as I've said before you can sit and worry about it or you got on with the job in hand um, Lewis has been a big part of you know the team, um, but there's certainly players that can come in and you know do a, a relatively similar job. Um, so we get on with it. We trust the guys that are in that squad. Um, you know, and you know we wish Louis all the best in his recovery. But hopefully he'll be back sooner rather than later. Okay. And a, a final point: um, the work at the stadium is progressing. You know, at good pace. You know that that, that, that final layer, the carpet is going down. Have you been down to take a look at the new surface? I've. <laughs> Uh, it's green. Uh, it's a, 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 I mean, they call it a carpet, whatever you want to call it. It's just, it's a surface that the boys have trained on. Um, we know what we can do on it. Um, but until it's actually laid and the boys get out and get playing football on it, it doesn't really matter what it looks like they now. It's yeah. a case of when it's laid down and the goals are up and the lines are painted on. And, you know, up until that point, it doesn't really matter. It's about when we get back to Starts Park, where we want to play. Um, you know, since we've got such a good home record, we want to be playing at Starts Park and you know, in front of big crowds. Good. Well, it all starts on Saturday. Good luck for that game and thanks. Cheers. Cheers.